be going through a pit with bench examples. So we're going to be using the grading tool to excavate a pit, calculating our earthwork volumes, uh, creation of the bench, and this is a, a two-stage process, and then we're going to be merging our graded surface back into the original ground. So with that, over to Dave. Well, let's take a look at our same examples, except for this time. I'm going to be looking at the original ground only, and I'm going to do some pit design or quarry or something similar. Um, and as you saw before, this particular model does not have any um, quarry into the hillside there, so I'm going to create one. Now I'm starting off by cutting into the hill, and I want to start at 40 meters above the original um, platform here. The platform is about 4100, um, 4109, more, let's call it 4110. So 40 meters, and of course I'm working in feet, sorry, 40 feet up would be at the 4150 contour, which is right there. Now I'm going to use that contour as this contour, as the edge of my pit, and I'm going to cut back into the hill and grade it up from there. So let's, let's do that. Um, I got the right elevation, yep, 4150. I'm going to copy this contour. And when you make a grading object, and this is true for the pad that Jack just created, you don't want to have anything in your original terrain. You want to start off with an empty terrain. So file new, empty terrain. And I've got my uh, contour in there. That's kind of useful to me right now. And I also want to put in the background. Um, plan options, background, and we'll put the original ground in the background. There we are. Now I wanted to make this quarry um, the top level, the 40 foot high, high um, excavation around here. So I'm going to cut this initial feature, control Q, cut current feature. Uh, if you can't remember the keystrokes, modify selected feature break. And of course, there's the feature tools um, menu here. And break should be in there somewhere. There it is. Break at current point, control Q. OK, so we don't need that little piece. I've got this little piece left over. Now, this is going to be the bottom of my quarry at least the uh, first part of the quarry, so let's call it bottom. And it's going to be a 3D feature. We want this to make a surface. And I'll change it to black. No sense mixing it up with the existing contours. I'm going to draw some, ex some other points onto this feature. Let's do like so. So we're cutting back into the hill and snap onto there. Okay, there's the bottom. It's, it's all the same elevation, 4150. And I'm now going to grade this up to the surface. So what surface? Well, the one that I'm using is the background road. There it is, or the background uh, survey of the pit. I want to cut up at 200%. Uh, I don't care about fill. There won't be any fill. Slope lines every 10 meters, 10 feet, sorry. I'm going to calculate a terrain, but I uh, don't want to see contours, so I'm going to turn them off. I think I'm ready to go here. Is the direction correct? I drew in a clockwise direction, so left is correct. OK. There it is. And you can see a fill volume. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be a cut. I need to change original to final. So my current terrain, which has no name yet, is final. The original ground is original. And you can see we've got 18,000 cubic yards. And one would want to um, document this at, at this time. Well, let's save it. I'm going to call this QTOP for quarry top. Now, I want to cut another piece of the quarry 
below this and I want to leave a bench. So how am I going to do that? Well, first of all, I need to create a merged surface that represents the ground after we've done the top ex excavation. So I'll switch over to my original ground. Quickly save under a different name because I don't want to actually destroy the original ground. I want to create a new merged surface, which is the original ground combined with the surface I just made. And I do that using the merge function. There's the um, piece of quarry I just created. Merge it in. And you can see it here. Let's recalculate the surface. And let's take a quick look in 3D, make sure everything looks OK. Yep, there we go. So that's the top excavation. Now we're ready to cut down again and we want to leave a bench behind. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to copy this feature. That looks about right. That represents the back of the pit. And again, I'm going to do an excavation, which is a grading operation. So I start with a brand new terrain. And again, I want to put in a background. So plan options, background. This time I use the new original ground surface with the quarry top already removed. So that's a merged surface. Now this took me a little while to figure out, but it works quite nicely. I'm going to buffer this out to represent my bench. OK. So I'll buffer that by let's say 15 feet for my bench. And that goes to the right this time. Uh, it's a zero slope. So we want a flat bench. And linear there. Now that represents the bench I want to leave behind. So let's buffer again. And this time I'll offset downward at 200% to my final elevation, which is 4110. So if I want to go down 40, meter, 40 feet, I can do that by going 20 feet out and 200% slope. I think everything else is correct. Good. And that should be at the right elevation now. It says it's at 4110. Perfect. I don't need these features anymore. They'll be left behind, you'll see. OK, so this is the bottom of um, quarry part two, or Q bottom. And I'm going to just extend it to the plateau, the flat section here, and grade it up. All the grading parameters are the same as before, except we don't want to use the um, Original ground, we want to use the merge surface as our target. So that now shows the merge surface. That's good. Everything else I can leave the same and do the grading operation. And there we go. And there's another volume we want to write down. That's the, uh, the volume that we've cut. There's a tiny bit of fill here because we actually piled on top of the um, original surface there. So it wasn't quite at 4110. It was a little below. OK, document those volumes. And this looks great. Let's save it. And finally, I'm going to do a merged surface that represents the pit when it's finished. So I'm going to open up the original ground. This is the original ground now. It's got the top part in it already. Again, let's remember to save it as a different name so we don't mess up the, the intermediate one. We might want to use that later for creating um, cross sections or similar. And we'll do that same merge operation, this time with the final piece that we created. 
There it is. Just quickly recalculate the surface. Just keep the same settings as before. And you can see that we've created a quarry with a 15 foot wide bench. And this face here is 40 feet. I didn't measure this one, but it's easy to tell, right? I can hover there and it says 41, 49. Well, we know that's 49, 50. And hover here and it's uh, 41.96, so it's approximately 40 feet, 46 feet above uh, the bench. And that's the end of the demonstration. Thank you so much.